<clears throat> sorry, I just had something in my throat. So what I was trying to say is that these corners are quite sharp and some of the corners around it in the inserts that you buy and some are sharp and whatever, you know, you can completely, it's up to you to have different, um, like a mix of them. Some people are bothered by it and they round all of them. I'm not sure whether um, I like the just the rounded corners. It obviously works better with the um, <clears throat> with the Shakespeare notebooks, but um, travelers notebooks. So what I've done is I, I went on Amazon and I bought. Um, I had a look at their corner punches, and I decided to go for Fiskars. I mean, Fiskars is generally um, quite a bit more expensive than others, and they also tend to be quite chunky. I think I have one more Fiskars. Yeah, so I bought this um, circular punch and they are, they feel very good in your hands. They're very, um, they're a bit heavy and they feel quite like good quality, definitely good quality and um, you get what you pay for. And the other Fiskars, <laughs> a bit of a collection going now, I have is this um, scallop um, edge punch. This one is also quite fun, I love using it. So yeah, um, they're very good. And <clears throat> so this is my third one. And um, although it's actually uh, quite a bit expensive and more expensive than other brands, this particular one though, it is a very good value uh, for your money because uh, it actually tells you that you can do uh, paper thickness 210 GSM maximum. Um, so I think any thicker paper than that, it probably won't cut very well. I don't know. Um, so anyways, so this is a three-in-one. So you get three corners here. You get this corner, you get a slightly rounder and even more rounder. And so basically this is the variety of corners you can get. Um, I'm not sure which one is which. I suppose the corners, uh, this, these corners are the, this um, size here. And um, the other thing is of, of course having three in one means you don't need three different punches. Um, so although it's you know quite sort of chunky and, and big and heavy, it um, still is saving you space and in fact money because you don't need to spend on three different ones so here we go so i bought i bought this one and um i might try to punch these corners um i don't know if it's going to work or not i mean it's quite thin thin it's not um thick plastic even this one when it says thick this might have a problem but um anyway i will see so I'm going to insert this one into the second or the third like I'll do I think I'll do this one into here so I'll go right underneath it like that and you do your insert and that's the bookmark like this and at the moment it's still a little bit stiff as well so this bookmark keep sliding out and then I have this simpler one which I will slide underneath this one so essentially what you do with dashboards is you decorate them <clears throat> with paper and you can put um, embellishments or stickers you can just do anything you want. So I'm going to take out all of these inserts like that. Yeah, so I'm not sure how to get this one to lay flat. Whether I just go like that. It still doesn't seem to be doing it. It still is quite stiff and opens up a lot, so we'll see how I get on with it. And there we go. So <clears throat> I'm not entirely sure, but they don't seem to be 
like great quality to me because even though these are meant to be for B6 there is quite an overhang here if you can see hopefully so here's where my book ends and here is where the plastic ends so that you can actually see it so I don't know it looks quite clumsy to me I'm really not happy because I ended up paying 20 pounds for both of these um, dashboards then that is including shipping so they ended up being so expensive I'm really not happy with the quality because you can see here it's uh, when you band it it creates like a pocket of, of um, you can see this like extra plastic sort of thing and this this bit as well every time I open the book it just opens and it just gets in your way so I might as well just cut it off I don't know so um, that is all I wanted to share today it is looking great and I will go ahead and try to decorate these dashboards and see if I can if, if I'm happy to keep them because as it is right now they're really getting in my way and they're quite annoying <laughs> okay I decided to um, try something because I remembered I bought these um, 12 sheets for from create 365 the happy planner and if you remember I told you I was planning to um, so this is how they come they come like this and they are for the ring um, binders but you can see here but you can um, so my idea was to cut off this part just above the um, stamped area right here so that you obviously don't um, make a hole in the pocket and I have just done that with the um, let's see so they come um, three sheets I think is it three sheets yeah of each design so these are the, the the designs hopefully you can see and basically I've taken this one which is the so the pocket here is hold on is this one here so on the side so this is how it came so on the top and then the other one is trying to is, is this one here on the inside right so I have gone ahead cut off this um, bit here um, carefully and then I buy and just folded it so as you can see it's um, staying close very nicely it's not doing what the um, what these are doing which I really <laughs> Um, getting to me so when you open it up it just looks like mess because I, I don't know if you can see it but it's like the plastic here is starting to uh, curl and it's just sticking out it's just not great at all and although these are smaller I kind of think the quality is much better to be honest with you the plastic quality is um, it's sort of like softer and it's more workable so what I'm going to do is I have another one of these I pulled it out in the smaller um, sections and I'm going to use Heidi Swap um, Memory Planner foil pocket cards and they come in these two sizes I'm going to use the small ones and fill up these um, pockets and also for this one I have gone ahead and cut out some of these cut apart pieces which look very neat. I don't know which one I will use yet. It's from uh, Maggie Holmes Blue Collection for crepe paper and the sheet is called Fresh. So this is what it came like. And now it obviously is looking slightly different because I cut it apart and the other side had this like a pastel pale pink okay so I've done that I have also pulled out some other papers um, so this one is from Crate Paper Oasis from the um, Oasis collection and it's called Getaway so it's got this beautiful floral and this at the back 
and then also from the same collection there's this uh, cut apart sheet and it's called Palm Springs which is great I thought to use it, use some of the um, this but I'm not sure and then also I pulled out this one which is called postcards so it's got um, these kind of um, little cut apart pieces you can also do or you can just a big um, cut out a big piece okay so let me just go ahead and see what I can do and um, I'll share that with you Okay, so I have um, gone ahead now and done, as you have seen, <clears throat> I cut out the pieces of papers and I slipped them in and um, put the cut apart and it looks quite nice, I have to say, um, and I like the way it feels, like it's just, you know, laying flat, completely flat, it's not uh, opening up. Well, it's not as distorted as this one so I'm just going to go ahead and slide this out and as a comparison I hope you can see it's hard to probably see because it's see-through but you can see the um, ends are rolling it's not really closing properly it's kind of staying open can you see um, so that's as much as it would close naturally I'm holding it just in the middle here so there's something odd about these so I am going to stick these in and like I said although they're a little bit shorter and then the B6 books I'm going to go from the other end actually it's easier there you go I think it's a nice insert and it stays perfectly closed oh, I hope you can see that so it looks quite neat I like this look and I don't mind that it's a little bit um, shorter in size to me it's much better quality than the one I just um, taken out and um, with the Heidi Swap um, foil pocket cards I have put them into the smaller pockets which obviously are perfect size and I had um, 12 of them so it works really well I arranged them in a black and white um, theme here and the um, aqua with pink on this side and when you open them they don't have anything um, on the back and what I will do, what you can do, either slide these ones at the back of these so you have double sided and then do something else with this side. 
but I think what I will do is take um, papers and just cut out the right sizes, different scrapbooking papers, the patterns that I like and just arrange them so I have like a fun um, thing going. Okay, so this one is coming out. I feel like 20 pounds have gone down the drain. And <clears throat> so here we go. That looks quite nice. Actually, this would look better over the over the pink box. I'm just going to do that real quick. Yeah, that looks better. Okay, so that's really good. And yeah, try that if you want to. Um, if you want to bring a little bit of character to your traveler's notebook. And I hope you found this useful and thanks for watching and see you soon.